Okay. I recently met and became friends with my next guest when I worked with her on a soon-to-be-released movie entitled This Is My Life. Let's find out about her life. Please welcome my friend Julie Kavner. <laughs> now, Jewel. Yes. You, you're carrying your purse onto the set. I don't trust anybody. Set. <laughs> She's <laughs> very nice here, but I don't trust Are anybody. you from New York or something? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you have that built-in paranoia? Everybody from Burbank is as paranoid as <laughs> Are you from Burbank? No, I don't. But Julie, you're very, you're like a New York person, right? That's right. And yet you grew up in Beverly Hills. I always find that incredible about you. How do you explain Have you met that? Rose and Dave? <laughs> They're my parents. Are they, are they very from uh, New, York. New York types? Yes. So Transplanted New Yorkers. So like and they taught me how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> if they had been from France, I would have had a, had a lovely uh, demeanor. Now, I worked with you in a movie, it's called This Is My Life or Your Life? I forget. It's never... my life now because Ralph Edwards will not give up that title <laughs> as long really? as... Really? That's right. You mean it was originally This Is Your Life and then they changed it because of Ralph Edwards? Yes. Is he still alive? Yeah. I didn't know he was even around. And God bless him. <laughs> oh. yeah. So it's This Is My, my life. life. Yeah. And in the movie, you play a stand-up comedian Yes. And you, well, first of all, I worked with Judy on this, Julie on this movie, and I helped you to be a stand-up comedian in that movie. You did, and I was funny. I don't <laughs> she, think yeah, I very, was funny. She was hilarious. I was. You yeah. really were. You were my coach mm -hmm. and helped writing on the, uh, on the routines. But, um... It, and yeah. you yourself are on screen in the yes, movie. Yes, that's true. But, um... Here's the thing. In, <laughs> it's, like the two, it's like two seconds of me, and then the rest of it is you. And you're the big star of the movie. And it's interesting because all of your career, I followed you from the beginning, from Rhoda all the way to now. And um, you've always been like the second banana. Mm -hmm. And now you're the top banana in this movie. Now, how did you make the transition? Was it... Was it I'm only one of three bananas. <laughs> There's a bunch of bananas. Yeah, there are other, other stars in the movie. Samantha Ma uh, Mathis and... Right. Um, um... And Gabby Hoffman, who plays my other daughter. Right. Uh, so it's really the three of us. Mm -hmm. And actually, the story is from the older girl, Samantha Mathis, from her point of view, from her journal. So it's really the three of us. It's not. So you're um, really still not the. You you feel uncomfortable being the one and only, don't you? Well, it's a. Gr <laughs> <laughs> Do you? No, it's a great part. I've never talked so much in my life as in this film. Yeah, it's, I did. Um, you had a lot of lines that you learned every day. You were in that's there studying. That's basically the difference. Is it's a good. It's a great role, and you have a lot of work. It's a lot more work than, I actually. You know, you come in, do a week, score and. Get out. Mm -hmm. That's that's terrific. it. Not like yeah. this grind. Not like every this. night, every, every night. Day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Talking to people on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw the uh, previews on the news when they were talking, and some one of the women who, newscasters loved Estelle's dress. Really? Even made her do a little turn for it. Well, you know, chacun, chacun son goût, as they say in, uh, as we say now, Joy's parents. In Italian, we say, sa each his own. <laughs> now, the other thing about you that always fascinated me, and now that I know you, we're friends now, you always play these insecure characters. You did on Rhoda, you is a fad, you can't get the guy, blah, 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 blah. And I find you to be an extremely secure person. Like, for instance, you're here right now without any makeup, on. You only, but you... am I sweating? I told you. <laughs> it's cool in here, and I'm still sweating. It's a phenomenon I don't understand. I admire that. I mean, when I, if I come on TV without makeup, car alarms go off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I cannot be seen in public. <laughs> but you're a New Yorker. I'm basically a California girl. Oh, the so beach air a, wipes it out anyway here. And, yeah, see? You guys aren't wearing makeup, really? Now, how about, how about this thing you told me the other day? Actually, your boyfriend told me, but I'll spill the beans. That uh, you've always had this fear of singing in public. Right. And yet, on the Tracy Ullman show, you used to sing and dance and do the whole bit. Yeah. And <clears throat> how did you... People would like to hear that, because a lot of people have fears. The number one fear in the Book of Lists is the fear of public speaking. Mm -hmm. So how did you overcome your fear of singing in public? Well, I was getting paid very well to do it, so I couldn't... There you go. 
on that show was was a remarkable show and we all were given the opportunity to do things that we had never done before and will probably never be asked to do again mm -hmm. like singing can you want to sing now not at all <laughs> you crazy <laughs> no, I'm crazy now before i get i want to ask you about the simpsons because you play marge i play marge i play Ma i play marge's two sisters that's right do they really feel that way? Or did yeah. somebody hold up a no, card no, that they, says applause? They're on their own here. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what is yeah. the key to Marge's character, do you think? Well, I think the key to Marge is, which is based on Matt Groening's, the whole family is based on Matt Groening's family. Mm -hmm. He's created the cartoon uh, to begin with. And Marge got dumber when she got married. Mm -hmm. She was very smart. She went to college. She burned her brazier. I mean, she was part of women's lives. Oh, she, she was, was a 60s gal. She was a 60s mm -hmm. gal. And, and, and you know, uh, marching, you know, for women and everything, and got married, and boom, hello. <laughs> I also think that the, that the key to Marge, which is a big secret, man, nah, maybe I shouldn't say it. Oh, well. Nah. You don't want to tell it? You, you, no. You don't tell the acting so. secret. No. <laughs> no. But she did get a little bit dumber. But I think she's also a very righteous woman. I think that she really believes in right and wrong and is doing her best to bring her family up. Do you think, now I know you are, have been going with the same guy for 15 years, right? I think so. 15 years, the same boyfriend. <laughs> <I'm missing. laughs> Did, do you think that if you got married, you'd get done like Marge? <laughs> I mean, what's the story here? You know, what's, when are you going to, like, you know? Well, like yourself, Joy. Who's <coughs> been with the same fella nine, nine years? Nine years, yes. Nine years. Why rock the boat? Exactly. You know, it's going well. Mm -hmm. We have a good time. Yeah. He was married twice. You were this is not a oh, good indication was. for really? this person to... Yeah. I didn't so know he was married be... twice. Yeah. Oh. So, so, so that's it. You're not going to tie the knot. I'm rocking the ship Like go on, on the one. beach and have the big Khalil Gibran. No. You remember those? <laughs> I am I, you are you, we are one. Just the waves crash and you're married. We do remember that us? every night in private. <laughs> they live in Malibu. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for coming by. This is it? That's it. I enjoyed it. It's, it's but, I was, can you stay? Yeah. I want you to stay with us because uh, coming up next we have uh, actor and comedian, one of my faves, Kevin Meany. Yeah. And, yes. And later on we're going to have these... Um, we're going to have these two women who know a lot about making Whoopi, a Madam Beverly Harrell and a prostitute, Dolores French. Am I you should stay for all of it. We'll be right back.